Our story begins in Denmark. Eight o'clock and all is well. Or, to be more precise, with dinner at the lieutenant's house. All I'm saying, Lieutenant, is that if I could live in any time in history, it would have to be in the great days of the Vikings. That's all very well, Knapp, but I doubt you would give up your comforts to live in such a dangerous time. I can see it now. Settling down with the other Vikings to a few tankards of mead around the fire after a hard day working the land. What do you think, Sergeant? Hmm. I think this is the silliest conversation I've ever heard. Why waste your time talking about things that can never be? Um. <laughs> so, uh, how's the fish? Oh. Ah. Unusual texture. The three gentlemen had no idea they were being observed by two fairies. Would you please stop buzzing around like that? You're making me dizzy. Becoming the fairy of good fortune is a very serious business. I can't help it. I'm so excited. I've never done a job all by myself before. It's going to be so great. We'll see. OK, then. Show me what you've got. Ah! <gasps> <laughs> That's it. A pair of brain boots. Oh, who do you think this is, a fly swat? You're a fairy, for goodness sake. Use some magic. I did. Those aren't just any boots. Whoever wears them will be granted whatever they wish for. Oh, do you have any idea what you've done? What's the matter? The wearer of the boots will get everything they want. What better fortune could a person have? Oh, what people want and what people think they want are two very different things. <gasps> What an awful day. Ah, galoshes. How thoughtful. Huh? I have a very bad feeling about this. Ah. Oh. I'm sure that fish was off. The Vikings never had to put up with that. Fresh fish every day. I wish I was a Viking. Ah, what kind of street is this? Huh? Ah. The important thing is not to panic. I mean, how lost can I really be? There's only one thing we can do. Get the boots from his feet and break the spell before something terrible happens. Ah, a tavern. I'm saved. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. I was wondering if you could direct me to 
The Vikings? This isn't happening. I should never have had the fish at the lieutenant's house. Anything that smells like feet, but isn't feet, can't be good. Uh, uh. When I open my eyes, I will awake from this nightmare face to face with my gentle wife. <gasps> Darling, you look... Terrible! <laughs> Join us, friend! It's good that you come! Um, all right! Hey! Our neighbors send us their finest warrior! Ah! Ho -ho! To replace poor Sigurd! Oh. <laughs> How strange they dress in his village! <laughs> Olaf, we hear much about you. You are a mighty warrior. Hey. Ha -ha. What? Who, me? Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Olaf? Who? <coughs> no, I'm sorry. There must be some kind of mix-up. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Oh. Happens all the time. <laughs> I'm told I have a very common face. <laughs> Come, Olaf. Is it true you defeat an army in a day? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> Yes, I could have done it in half a day, if I'd remembered my sword. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yes! <laughs> Olaf! Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Huh? Olaf, are you all right? Fine, fine. I just thought I'd have a little lie down. Olaf is right. Now we rest. Tomorrow, we fight! <laughs> huh? Hmm. Fight? You mean... Fight? Fight? Yes. Tomorrow we battle with another family. Huh? Battle? It was just a fight a second ago. Uh -huh. Couldn't you just arm wrestle or call each other names? Yes. It is sad that we must battle. Our families cannot find another way. We need a great warrior like you. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, well, I suppose I could do my bit. Uh, yes. Maybe hold your coats while you get on with it. Uh -huh. Or I could make the sandwiches. Huh? You will be the chieftain's guard. Um, I see. And what exactly would that kind of thing entail? You don't know, but you are a great warrior. Yes. Yeah.